Hello, welcome to my video. I'm Creative Sarah here to do a really cool project with our very sweet Club Couture transfer from July. This one is full of strawberries, my favorite fruit in the whole world. And it's July is my month. So for this to be strawberries, it's just so fitting because it's my birthday month. And if you know me, you know that my birthday cake of choice would be strawberry shortcake. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're going to do something fun. I have some fun um, little wooden pieces that I'm painting with chalk paste. I went ahead and mixed together some bright white and a tiny bit of dune to make it an off white color, okay? And I'm just kind of finishing up painting the top of these wooden pieces. These are little strawberry cutouts. Um, yes, yeah, so, so the cutouts can all be found um, there, it's a, sh it's a woodcut shop called Creative Wood Cuts Shop, two S's, Cuts Shop, and you can find it on Etsy, or you can find it on Facebook, Creative Wood Cuts Shop. It's a business page. So either way, if you go to that Facebook page, you'll be able to find a link, I believe, to the Etsy shop. Um, if you go to the Etsy shop, you just have to search for Creative Wood Cuts Shop. And simple, simple. Um, if you are a club member and you've already gotten your club, you already purchased your club for July, you can get access to these also. Um, you just have to message. <laughs> All right, now let's get these dried. Um, I did have a little bit of water in the chalk paste, so I mixed the white and the dune, and then I also had a little bit of water. And we're just going to get these all dry. Now, a little note for you. If you're new, you can go ahead and comment VIP to get into my group. And if you would like a sample, you can comment sample. If you're on Facebook, perfect. I'll send you a message. If you're watching from any other place, like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, then... I can't send you a message because you can't do links, but you can find the link right in my bio. Right there. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That should be enough. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of set those aside wash out my paintbrush real quick and my water. And I will set this aside. And we'll get to working on our project. Okay, now we've got some more things that I've already painted. I am going to um, I don't really want to wax that whole thing because I don't want to, because I want to be able to glue. I would normally wax it. If I'm just using this on the wood, I would wax it. But instead, we're going to fuzz a lot. You will fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Also, you're going to be really proud of me. So I'm going to use Candy Apple as our red color for our strawberries. However, 
because it's on this wood color changes it slightly makes it a little darker so it's a win-win it is a win-win all right i have fuzzed this now this is going to get centered in my 9 by 12 box frame centered and this is a double-sided box frame and i actually have something on the back because i like to use the front and the back I am gonna, I'm gonna do the strawberries. We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna do our wood pieces. So I've got my chalk paste. I am not gonna do the inside, only the strawberries. It's gonna be beautiful. I just knew it. I haven't done it yet, but I can tell. So if you are not a club member and you don't have this, it's our club transfer and you can only get it by being part of the club. So you definitely are gonna want to be part of the club. Go ahead, comment the word club right in the comments and I will send you a link for more information and you'll be able to see um, all the details and how to sign up. It's a really great subscription program. It's like Kid of the Month Club and it's always the cutest things. I do three projects. So you're gonna see three projects for me. Not all today, because it's pre-recorded, and I always like to do my club stuff live, but um, you're gonna see this project plus two more using this transfer, and you're gonna get emailed to you written directions and videos of more projects from Chalk Central Artists. So it's really kind of a cool deal. All right, looks like I have everything covered neatly in candy apple red, more candy apple than I could ever want. All right, and I am covered in it. So I'm gonna wash my hand real quick in my water. And we're gonna peel. Let's get to peeling. I'm gonna grab a little stir stick to start me off. <gasps> yes! Oh, it looks so good. All right, this is gonna get washed in the water. This needs to dry. Oh, my happy heart. It's so cool. I'll hold it up and show you guys. It looks so good. Now the kit with the um, cutout pieces comes with nine I think it's nine extra. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. It comes with extra strawberries, which is fun. And the strawberries in this pattern repeat. There's a small one, a medium one, and a large one. And they all just kind of repeat. In this pattern. Okay, we're dry. We are dry. Look how cool. 
Do you love it? I love it. I'm gonna set it back down. We're gonna get to working on some of this other stuff. So here's my center. And I did paint this with the Dune Bright White Mixture. And I'm just going to give it a good sanding. I know, I painted it just to distress it. But you can tell the difference. So we're going to distress. Distress, distress, distress. And then we are going to hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. In the center. nice bright white and we're gonna wash our transfer we're gonna do that right now I'm gonna pull oh this red candy apple everywhere I am cleaning 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 Have no fear. Computer time. Thank you. The cleaning lady is here. I am. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and mostly have this cleaned. I'm going to take it to the table to finish because we need to um, get it washed and dried so when I do that I just grab a wipe get that pretty well cleaned off flip it over and now we got to go to town on this back And get that cleaned off. Once that's pretty good, we can start drying it. So this is the sticky side. I'm gonna take my microfiber side of the fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna press it into this. Really work to get this dried off. I'm gonna do kind of half and half where I fold it over and kind of dry both sides at the same time. And we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, it's getting dry, it's getting dry. Over here, just press it down. And that should be pretty dry. And then we just give them, give it a few of these. You don't ever wanna take heat to your transfer, it will melt. I'm just telling you, it'll melt, you won't like it, won't work anymore, boo-hoo, don't do it. This is now dry. All right, I'm gonna grab my light source. Yeah, we are not doing that. I don't know what's happening, but I just want to turn on my light. There we go. Now, we have to do a couple things. We have to do the berry sweet days of summer. And so I'm going to um, set this down and just kind of Lay it out perfect. <laughs> Gonna sneeze. Next. <coughs> Good 
goodness gracious. I'm sorry. So sorry. All right, so now Last one I gotta get in here of summer. Awesome. Okay, now I think we should do so. Everything is gonna be red except for the things that I do green. Ah, we could do black. I'm gonna do some things green. I'm going to do some things black. So we're going to do the words black. I think that will be cool. I'm going to grab a mini squeegee for this. And just start chalking. Looking good so far. Okay, a little bit more black to finish this up. These are really skinny letters. That's why I was gonna do the green or the black, because I wanted a darker color not red. All right. Now, peel. These are perfect. It's gonna go over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of drying on them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do these strawberries. I'm putting them on my light board there and I am lining them up with the transfer. And I'm gonna attempt to um I'm gonna chalk the top parts of the strawberries green. They have little leaves and stems, and then I'm gonna um chalk the the body of the strawberry red, obviously. And then when they come out, they're gonna be super cute. You can kind of see them there in the corner as I peel them out. Um, but this took a little bit longer, it's a little more tedious. So I wanted to speed it up and um, move it through the video. So I'm doing nine different strawberries here. And now I'm just going to um, finish up, peel these off and clean my transfer. Okay. Now we need to assemble. I'm gonna throw these up here and make sure that they are dry. this down
to very sweet days of summer. There we go. Just gluing, 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 gluing. Okay, and the last. Now, I think Now, I've got six of them there, and I could put like I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm only going to use six because I'm going to add. A little, wait till you see. A little something, something. There we go. Okay, now those are attached. <gasps> the very sweet days of summer, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna grab just a little bit of ribbon. I'm going to cut about three strips of it. And this is just a bright red with a white polka dot. do a jute. Let me just do a regular jute and I will take the three strips in the center we're just going to tie it up easy peasy lemon squeezy.
tight and then a double you knot. There we go. All right, so now I have this done. I'm going to trim these edges. One, two. I'm going to peel these back like that so that we have the layers. And I'm going to unravel or untwist the jute. So cute. And this is going to go on the front with hot glue because, like I said, I'm using the back side. It has my smile stuff on it. So I'm going to get a good... Now this is not wired ribbon, so it can give me a little bit of trouble. But if I, if I tack it in place with just a smidge of glue, it won't give me any more trouble after that. Because I want those three, three things to stand out. All right, one more little glue dot, and we'll get that in place. Now I'm gonna place it on here like so. OMG, you guys, so cute. So cute. Ta-da! What do you think? All right, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to being live again soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.